Hey guys, HD here, and welcome to episode 130 of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So last time, we went ahead and we did two shrines in the Sky Islands, here and here, uh, these two. So now, like I was saying at the end of the video, the last episode, I'm gonna try to start with this area. And then I'm gonna go to the Tabantha, and then to the Hebra. And I'm going to try to, uh, complete all the shrines. Um, I do have some, I guess, resources, I guess you could say, that will be helping me slightly to just basically, if I complete a shrine, I mock it off. If I haven't completed one, you know, I don't mock it off. So, yeah. We'll see how it goes overall in my journey to have all of the shrines by the end of the series. Um, because once the DLC comes out, I mean, that'll be, I mean, eventually we'll do that. Like, have the DLC and everything in this. So, yeah. Um, I'm currently facing the wrong direction. I said I wanted to do the Gordu region. Gordu Highlands in particular. Hey, right off the bat, we see a shrine. So, let's begin with what we can see easily. Hey, there's a shrine over there in that chasm. So, we're seeing a lot of stuff right off the bat. Which is awesome. It would just overall make this so much easier. If I can just look, see, and mock off. Now, the ones that will be difficult, I imagine, will be Shrine Quest. Where I look and I'm like, where's the shrine supposed to be? I see nothing here. And if we get to any like that, I'll just ignore them and... You know, maybe off camera, I'll do a little bit of research just to try to figure out for you what everything does and make it be smooth sailing and yeah, kind of showcase in the video what exactly is going on. Speaking of what exactly is going on, what's going on down now? Okay, so as long as I land up here on this ridge. I don't care too much where I land. Okay. There we go. Okay, so there's airflow, which that's awesome. I'm not gonna waste my time pulling out a ruby rod and going after that guy. Okay, so it's still snows. Um. Yeah, that's just regular snow cycles. It's not a constant snow. But this is the, what, Tabantha region? I don't know. If you just go, like, straight shot a shrine, do you miss a lot? Like, overall? I mean, it's, it's a fair enough question. This is the, I think, Autosuma Shrine is what it was called. Is this a blessing? Raru's blessing. Well, starting off well. Got a a blessing right away. Um, I'm not sure why, but hey, I'll take it. Dum 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 dum. -dum, 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 -dum. So then I said I saw a shrine to the, what, it would be east of where I currently am. I was thinking because I was facing south, so kind of had to flip it in my mind. Um, okay, so we got the, the, let me see, the Adosuma shrine. Okay, so now... Maybe we could go this direction. I know it looks kind of out of the way, but I believe there is a shrine like just straight ahead that I don't think I've gotten. 
the worst thing that's going to make this seem very long is the time that it takes to run on the snow. So, but that won't last too much longer as I am getting out of this and we are going down. Oh. A statue of the eighth heroine. Um. Going to be honest, um, there, isn't there a zone I device that outputs light? Let me see. It's just the right kind of light. No, <laughs> this is not the right kind of light. Maybe it's one of those where you need like the morning sun or like a blood moon like you need to be here i don't know what opens up i don't believe there's any shrines here and if there is a shrine here it would be very far away i imagine i don't know well i'm just gonna keep it straight shotting and i didn't see anything so I just assume there is nothing. So let's go down <laughs> a little bit in elevation to where I believe there should be another shrine. Um, let's see. So I think it's about like right here. So a little bit to the right. Oh, there. <laughs> I see it now. That's the shrine that I was thinking of. I don't know if it would just be nothing or if there will be something. But it does look like there is something. And that is nothing. Okay, so let's go down. The Gasas Shrine. That is a very funny name. One that is easy to remember, I would say. Okay, let's. The well timed cuts. I don't know why I said the, but it's called well timed cuts. Can't you just jump? <laughs> no, you can't. Okay, well time to cut, so... Let's see, can't I just... I was like, what? I don't even have a bow. You know what I mean? It's just like, really? But, okay. Well time to cut. So there's going to be a little bit of... Oh, this thing can... is unmovable. Really, you can't move it. Yeah, I don't know why. Dumb piece of crap. I was standing on it before. Okay, here you go. Let's get this down here. Let's go. I assume this is what you're supposed to do. Yeah, I don't know what you're doing. Okay. Yes, you're supposed to attach these together. And... Okay, oh shoot. There we go. Um, I don't know how well. good timing is involved with this. Um, 
as much as okay this must still be the training area okay now it's time for the oh Okay, I think this... This is probably the key. I'd say probably... have it when it's coming this way and it's coming this way Let's see can we can we grab it no why don't I just you know what let's just use our brain for five seconds come on But we use my brain for 10 seconds instead of 5 seconds. Okay, now we're long. And yeah, when you're this big, you can do whatever you want. There we go. It has plenty of counter... Stupid. Plenty of counterbalance. Momentum dead. Now it has no momentum. There. Now it's where I can grab it. Yep. And you gotta make that difficult. Small key. That is what I've been waiting for. Small key. Okay, let's see what the main event is. Can I fit this through? Please. Get that out of here. This. Can I fit this through, huh? What if I, oh, I know what to do. too big. Here we go. Like this. And to get through these. Uh, you can't actually go through can't actually go through this, can you? Yeah, I know it's they make the size so small. Yeah, that was perfect. Let's go to the inner chamber. Thank you, good sir. Okay, now we are in. Okay, so 
maybe Godu Highlands would be the best place. The Tower. That might be the best place to go next. Let's see. Yeah. Let's travel to that. Because there is one chasm. And then there's another chasm. And I think I came to this area like my first time around. Because this looks really familiar. Like that chasm that I'm looking at. So I believe I've seen it before. Uh, that mini chasm right there. I think. Let's glide. Have I gotten, I've gotten that tier. Yes, I have. I, I don't want to miss a tier. If I see one and I'm like, yeah, I'm not just going to skip it. So right here is a small chasm. Yeah, I would think there'd be a shrine for a chasm. It's usually they do that. There's a chasm and then there's a shrine. So in my mind, there's a shrine here. Hey, there is a shrine now. I keep forgetting to use him. Like, just how much more he could save me time. I wonder if there's a bulb, a light route, just like right beside this chasm. Now, I don't know, uh, you guys can tell me in the comments if you actually, like, watch this or anything. Um, this is the Ratsuma sh Mama Shrine. But, do you think just straight shotting shrines? A balanced plan. What is more? I don't know. What is better? Let me... Like this. What is more? I don't know. Like, what is better overall? Just straight shotting the shrines? Or do you think, like, actually, like, one by one going, doing, um, like, spending your time? Like, Look, just looking around, just meandering, trying. To, oh, shoot, just trying to find a shrine. Okay, let's just hold. Grave call can be stasis if you let it. Oh. That's the end. Man, I guess. Awesome. That was like two minutes. Felt like. <laughs> no, but thank you very much if you wanted to have an easy shrine. I'll take those every day. Like I said, those are the best shrines. The best shrine is an easy shrine. So, yeah. That's the Ramutsa shrine, I believe it was. Now, the next shrine, I'm a little unsure as to how I... Okay, let's look around. I mean, this is a cool area. There's a Yiga. Like, there could be a Skima for all I know. This just looks like a cool Yiga hideout. Like, let's go in see what's inside. Can I... Open it. Can I go under and in through the top? But this is the Yiga clan hideout. Remember the <laughs> the big battle in the first game? Yiga clan hideout chasm. Yeah, this brings back um Breath of the Wild right there. So yeah, that was the Ramatsu shrine. So, I, here's this tower. 
Now, unless I'm just gonna travel to this shrine, I don't think I'm gonna actually do it. I don't know if it will be there. I don't know how I could have missed it. Unless it's in a cave. I believe I did come searching for it. Because I believe I saw a light route. And... When I saw the light route, I think I was like... Um, there has to be a shrine here. Because a light route and a shrine, they correlate. But when I like actually looked, I was like, I don't see anything. And I was dumbfounded as to what was going on. Like, there's, let me see if that's the one. Yep, this is the exact one I'm thinking of. Yep, right there. I have been here once. I did not come back again. But, yeah, let's just try to find it. See if that now that I have a little bit more experience and just everything in the game if I can find it I mean it'd be kind of like uh, the, the ending of a chapter to put it nicely I don't I honestly don't know how to put it but I just love to have it like done you know so right here is where the shrine supposedly is I am right above the light route now now the elevation I cannot confirm I cannot say for certain for certain or not if there is oh, what that didn't kill it if there is anything like cave entrances here because I know I went exactly where it was supposed to be I hate octa rocks I don't think I've killed any of them this whole time game I just like avoid them just like PTSD from breath of the wild and I'm like yeah no stay away from you So let's see, any cave entrances around here? This looks like a core rock. you see these guys you're just like there has to be a coral rock I don't know why I always think that I've just been conditioned that these mean coral rock nothing are you telling me there's nothing Seems odd, but oh, there's a roof. A roof. Rattle. Not a dog, but a um. Here we go. This looks about right. Let's. There we go. Let's just put this here and. There's a. It's a rock. Hmm, not quite enough, is it? Is there any other? Did I only get half the, of it? Yeah, I'm gonna be frankly honest. I have like no clue how you would get to this. I'll go through the um, cave entrance that I had went through originally. Maybe that is the right one. Who knows? 
Where is... I'm going the complete wrong way. Noted. Face this way. There we go. Now we're heading the right way. That's a struggle. Getting myself to face the right way. So we had gotten... This cave entrance here. Let's look at the map. So we have one here. But I believe there is a cave entrance right here. That I haven't gotten. So I might go out on a limb. And this thing has a check mark here. Now, I'm all for checking this. And I will check it. I would doubly check it. But it may actually be below this. Um, oh shoot, let me switch weapons. Yeah. So the light route is actually like backwards to where it'd be right here. So when you go here and you don't see anything, you figure, is it up or down? Now, with my ability, I can go two directions. I can go one, not two. Yeah. That's what I meant. Shoot. So... That is right here. Am I going the wrong direction? That that very well could be possible. Oh, right here's a uh, entrance to something. I have nothing to say of to those not of the Yiga. Bro, I am Yiga. Look at me. Haven't you? Can't you tell? Look at my mask. Do I only have a Yiga? Hmm. Is there a, what does this lead? Right here. This must be a quest. I have nothing to say if it was not to the Yiga. Not the Yiga. So, can I go below here? Um. Okay, so you guys remember how I said, um, there is a, some of these may be quest, and some may not be, uh, that one's a quest, and you have to go as a Yika member by the looks of things. And I, yeah, that's one that I'll just have to research. But it's totally fine. And yeah, I can just do that in the future. But uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to end this episode here at this beautiful waterfall. And I will do a little bit of research between episodes of what to do here. As I know there's a shrine here, and I see the Yiga. But what do I do? So, I'll be back in the next one with maybe an explanation. But, yeah. See you guys then. Bye!